ba da 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 la da 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 ba da dum bum 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 let's see how it sounds we gon' see how it sounds dude i'm always fucking streaming when this this amaranth chick is always on man and she's like licking microphones and stuff i don't stand a chance i don't i don't stand a chance against licking microphones bro this shit is gonna be rough that's all right let's check the audio Shit is gonna be rough. Okay. That's all right. Let's. Okay. 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 It sounds good to me. So let me get the chats Ola up. Where is the chat Ola? Excuse me, chat Ola. I need to click button. Stream manager. Here we go. Hey, what's up, wide size? Is that wide size? How do you pronounce your name? That's what I want to know. Let me let me just give a quick shout out to the Discord. Now you gotta give a shout out to the Discord peeps. Wham. Okay. Officially announced. Do you, you literally pronounce it W Y D Sis? Like people be like, yo, what's up, W Y D Sis? We gotta we gotta abbreviate that somehow, bro, because I'm I'm not that special. We gotta get you an abbreviation. Oh, what you doing, sis? Ah, oh. okay, 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 okay. I'm catching up, yo. I'll, you gotta understand, I'm like 67 years old, so I'm catching up to all the internet lingo. Um, you would think that if you were older, like you would be more hip to the internet lingo, cause like you've been around on the internet longer, but nah. You're not hip anymore because of the rapid evolution of language that has erupted due to this global connectivity that we have going on now. You can't keep up. It's always changing, evolving, and you're always going to be out of date, always catching up. You better fucking keep um, Urban Dictionary bookmarked if you want to stay hip. Don't yell at your brother. Don't do that. Don't yell at your brother. But do, do, do wag your finger at them. Just give them a, a very strong winger, winger fat, uh, finger wag. Whoa, that was not a good time to be dyslexic. I caught myself though. Did you see that? I caught myself, but I was, that was close. Okay. Dyslexia. Anyway. I think that's only when you're reading words. Whatever. Basketball GM. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's check out what happened on the last episode of Basketball GM. We're going to go to the team. Histore. I think we're in big time rebuild mode. I think we had a good run the last stream, but things has changed. Yeah, you check that out. Check that out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we made the conference finals three times. 
Uh, and that's due to the fact that Chicago has become a super team. And basically, this is a great time to tank and rebuild. You know, we like we don't want to try to compete with this team that is likely going to get better and better over the next few years. I mean, look at this shit. They got a 22 year old that is 64 overall, not even close to his potential. You got a bunch of dudes hovering around 70. They're all in their mid 20s, more or less. This is not a good time to be trying to compete for a championship. 85 team rating. It's probably going to be 100 sometime within the next two seasons. So, I think it's very important for us to think strategically. And our roster, bless them, they've done wonderfully for the past decade you know, especially with these with these longtime ballers that we have here. Justin Montez, Matt Gibson, Maxim, Jonathan, Johnston, the squad, the crew. I think it's a I think it's a good time to to rebuild. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to... We're going to go to Tankola Town. And if any of these dudes want to get off the ship, that's fine. I totally understand that. If they want to stick around, I understand that as well. But we got a few contracts. We got one contract expiring here, another one here. You know, we got some some young players. This is probably a drafty here. Yeah, we just drafted him. So there's some young players, but I think I think it's time to go to Tank Town. There's no way that we're gonna compete with, unless matter of fact. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Maybe we can get stupid. What if we just get stupid for a second here? What if we what if we say, hey, Chicago? Oddly enough, Chicago's got the best player in the league. But what if we were like, hey, what's up, Chicago? Um Oh, we can't trade for him. Okay, but what about Portland? What if we were like, hey, Portland? Oh, can't, can't, can't. What if we were like, hey, San Francisco? What if we were to ask y'all? Oh, they can't even afford to give up so much. All right, all right, all right, fair, fair. But what about Charles Baxter, the fourth here? Look at this dude. This dude's got family history in the league he's charles baxter the fourth his father charles baxter the sixth or the third is retired still alive i guess and uh His brother, he had a brother, Max Baxter, and his father, Charles Baxter Jr. Uh, they were all, they're all terrible. Uh, Charles Baxter Sr. ain't so bad. Got himself a championship, good for him. But everybody else in the family kind of struggling until the fourth Baxter. Hey, what's up, Baris? Chess player. 
How you doing? We doing some chess here. We're trying to make some we're trying to make some moves. Basically, I'm trying to see if I can salvage the current team that we have to see if maybe we can extend the life of this team, but I don't think it's going to happen. We got nothing to give up. We got nothing to give. I mean, we got nothing to give, and that is the real problemo. What's up, Donnie Watch? Monument's better. What does that mean? Is that code for something? Okay. Um, this is going to be tough. But I think we're going straight to Tank Ola Town. I think, I think that's it. I think that's what we got to do. Trading can come in handy in very specific contexts. Also depending on what is available. Fuck it, y'all. We're going to Tank Town. We're going to do it. There's really nothing else to do here. Not with that super team in Chicago. Knock us, knocking us out for three seasons in a row. Uh, so we just got to, we got to do it. Minimal minutes for the starters. Uh, if they play too well, you know, maybe, maybe we got to, maybe we got to sit them down. Let's see how this goes. Top teams. Look at that. We fell eight points in our overall. Chicago up three. They've got the best player in the league. And we are not the worst declining team. Look at Miami. Miami falling 16. That hurts. The Portland's on the rise. They were 36 of 46. But it's all good, yo. We're just gonna... We're gonna go to tank mode. We're going to tank all the town. Oh, this is not how you tank. There we go. That is how you tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, we're going to tank, bro. If we start winning too many games, I'm going to sit down players. I will sit them down. And I think we're winning too many. We winning too many. We're winning too many, yo. Okay, let's see. Matt Gibson, his contract ends at the end of the season. So I'm actually going to play him normal minutes. But all of these other ballers... That are still on contract for a couple of years. Actually, I don't want to... This dude... This dude... I don't want to fuck up his... His career. Blam. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing, broski. That's the tank gold plan. We've been we've been doing this. We've been doing this, bro. Everybody knows the program here. When it's time to go to Tank Ola Town, we go hard with the tank. We don't fuck around. Donnie, watch the team is not that bad, but I did lower everybody's minutes. Y'all saw their minutes were way lower. 2,464 is too long. What do you mean it's too long, bro? What's the point of starting a new league? It's just... it. It's like... That's like continuing another league, but just resetting everything, right? Like, why not just keep using the same league? Because then... Here's, here's why, bro. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Here's the deal. Check it out. All right? 
it's all about history okay it's all about storylines it's all about uh they, they were all they were all random it's all about um being able to see where you came from and the things that you did and the people that you did it with and the places that it took you and the struggles that you had and the successes and the things that you overcame and to have it all in one league file just makes it very dope because you can compare eras uh storylines players teams all kinds of things and then you start over and then it's all like look at this bro i got it all look at this oh shit oh damn it took 20 minutes to load that page and now now i gotta do it all again you only do like 30 year sims what oh yeah because you want to play with all the real characters and then all the real characters are gone and you get bored right but like look at this dude look at this look at this look at that look at this like okay we slump we slump but we came back look at this we had some some good runs we had some shisty runs there could have been a, a player injured here i'm sure if we dive into it we see there was a a core player that got injured and he didn't he didn't that's actually what i would love you know to build in basketball gm is is like a storyline generator so that you could just run it on a league file and then it'll it'll find stuff like the best player on a team uh got injured game three of the finals and then the team lost after they were up three games to to one right like i wish you i wish there was a way to just like find interesting stuff like that because that's what this all is yo it's all like this one loss here like why why was there one loss here but we was champs all the other years. There could be some interesting stuff there. Shout out to T.Y. Rogan. Everybody knows T.Y. Rogan. Okay, that's the OG. Nobody has touched T.Y. Rogan's EWA of 330.6. And it has stood the test of time since... uh this man played 23 since 2043 400 four, more than 400 years bro nobody has touched this dude he played 23 seasons he was a baller uh, and we're still waiting we're still waiting for the next ty right we're still waiting and he got injured he could have been better this man's got injured Look at that. 23 years old. He was 81 overall. Who's going to touch that, dude? Who's going to touch that? This man played till he was 42. Had four M. Like, it's just... Right? Jacob Klein got close. Y'all remember Klein. Klein was a killer. Right? And then Zoran. And then Towdy. And then TJ. And Charles Biddle. Jamal Wilson. TJ Moody. Those... They were, they were part of the... Uh, the 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 decade long um uh takeover so yeah man that's what it's all about it's all about it's all about these rings it's all about um these retired jerseys these these were these were ballers there's stories you can go back to the stream and watch every single one of these people's story and why they got their jerseys retired yo it's all there from the very moment that I started streaming, that I created this league. It's all on the stream. From the moment I created this league, it's all been streamed. Um, and in fact, I exported the league file. So if y'all want to actually like look through the league file and see anything, it's there. Uh, if you go to the, the, the content creators channel in Discord and just scroll up a little bit, you should see a post. And uh, yeah, man, the history. It's all about the history, bro. That's what I'm telling you. Look, Chicago won. Of course Chicago won. Fucking bastards.
these bastards. But we had somebody on the all-rookie team. But yeah, man, I would love to make that one day. Just, like, have something that goes and finds interesting storylines in a league file. And, like, that would be cool if it was a feature for the game. You know? Like, if it would, if it would just, like, record these, you know these these like important events through the season right like if there was a team rivalry all throughout the season and and then um they played in the in the finals and like what are the things that led up to that and you know if there was a uh top player you know, his team missed the playoffs because he got injured. Like, you know, stuff like that stands out. Dude, this guy, Brian Mickens here, is the future. This man is the future, but we're not going to get him, unfortunately. Uh, and this is a pretty weak draft. So if we get Paul, though, Paul would be a nice... Dude, Paul would be great. Paul would be amazing. He's got to work on that endurance, but let's see what we get. Do we get Paul? Oh, we got Paul. We got Paul. Or do I go your did not? We go Paul. We definitely go Paul. Um, I usually look at their stats, bro. That's how I decide who I'm going to pick. Right? Because I could have picked Cam. Can. Can here was was an interesting pick. But you look at his stats, right? And it's like, okay. Well, he's he's a guard forward. Uh, he can dunk a little bit. You know, but he doesn't really have height. He's got a little bit of speed. He's got pretty good jump. Um, potential is okay. Three-pointer is on its way there. But that's that's it right like and he was rated higher than uh paul right but we look at paul we check out paul it's like okay this dude can pass right now right his dribbling is all right his his scoring is is there right like all he needs to do is improve a little bit get that to like 60 70 and he's he's a starting scorer this dude can already defend like out the gate Right, his endurance isn't great, but that's not bad because he's coming off the bench right now, right? So if he can come in and apply this 86 speed and 89 jump, he's going to be a perimeter defender, right? And so, right, you see here, perimeter defender already. He can handle the ball. He's athletic. Um, he was a way better pick than, even though his potential is a bit lower, right? So you got to... Yeah, don't just pick with the highest potential. Look for look for these look for players that already have great set, right? So check it out. We're we're going for our it's our second round pick, right? Yeah, we're picking second in the second round. We should have got the first, but whatever. Right? So we want to look like, okay, that dude's got height. Okay, there's some interesting this dude's terrible in all, all of these stat categories, but he can kind of shoot. A little bit you know he's got a little bit of job there's something to work there he's a he's a 19 year old forward right so he's got a little bit of height a little bit of dunk you can shoot you get a forward that can shoot and can defend the perimeter right like you get a nice two-way player maybe he's not passing the ball maybe he's not rebounding but you know you get some some action in there right this player is just tall sometimes just picking up tall players helps they develop skills and then they're tall on top of it Right, just like real life. Like, okay, this person can, de can defend already. And they can shoot a little bit. A little bit. So I go through and I just like, pee like, oh my god, look at this. Look at this fucking steal right here. He's 21. So maybe, you know, not totally great. But he, he can already defend. He can already shoot. He can pass. He can dribble. Uh, if he develops some IQ, that's that's a starter right there. Bro, the second round has tons of good players. Don't say the second round doesn't have any good players. I just showed you one. This dude, this dude is a solid pickup. Here's another solid pickup. This might even be better. 
there's tons of good players in the second round. It's just that you have a skewed idea of what makes a player good. You think if that you think if all of their stats aren't maxed out, they're not good. But you're looking for players that fulfill a specific uh, role or need, right? Or they excel in some certain way. So like this, this person can defend. This this is a player that can defend. They might be 29 overall, but like if they develop in some of those other categories and if they develop their IQ, that shit can explode. Bro, I'm this this whole stream is a guide on how to win championships. I'm telling you. I'm trying I'm trying to take you on a journey of success. So check this out. We're going to get wham we're going to get that dude. It's a risky pick. Bro, I'll even I'll even show you this shit, right? Like check out the Hall of Fame. We're going to go to the Hall of Fame. Remember, this is this is also the nice thing when you are playing in really long leagues is that it helps put things into perspective. So uh, we're going to let the Hall of Fame load up. And then I think it lets you see where they were selected. Or you can filter by where they were selected. Now, this is obviously the downside of playing in massive leagues. Um, things get a bit slow. So you got to be a bit chatty and just keep on talking while things is loaded but that's okay that's fine so see here we go here we go check it out check it out check it out boom second rounder hall of famer right uh second rounder hall of famer look check this out second rounder hall of famer he was on my team second rounder they're there. They're there, bro. It's just, it's about, it's about catch it, right? And this is the very top of the top of the top, right? Like, as we, as we get into the second and third pages, they'll become more frequent, right? Because maybe they don't become the best player overall because they're starting from the bottom at like 20 overall sometimes, you know, but they still can develop into starters and have amazing careers. Like, look, they're starting to see more. There's another second rounder, another second rounder, second rounder. Tons, 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 tons. Don't sleep on the sleepers is what I'm trying to say. Don't sleep on them. It's the sleepers job to sleep. You don't sleep on the sleepers. So here's Matt Gibson. He would like to remain with the team. And I would like him to remain with the team. So we're gonna we're gonna give him that five season 13 mil. Bam. Alex Roski, you're not getting seven million, my dude. I'm really sorry about that. I know we drafted you. Check out check out all these players, yo. I've drafted like 22nd, 59th, 30th, 19th. I think we're going to move on. Oh, except for Bryson Walker here. How much does he want? We got to keep the OGs. OGs stick around. OGs stick around. Christian Wagner. What do we do, Christian? What do we do, Christian? Tell me. Tell me. This is a four-time champion. We'll let him stick around. Oh, Mr. Ward can still play. Two time champion. Um for a million. Ah, we're gonna move on, bro. We're gonna move on. 
We don't got a lot of roster spots. I know, but it's the it's the it's the chemistry. It's keeping the squad together. All right, so our team is terrible. We're gonna go to the preseason where they're gonna get worse, and then we are gonna tank one more season, one or two more seasons. I haven't decided. We can actually lessen Matt's minutes now. Uh, we are a sixty-six team. That just went to 63. So what happened? Some players got better. Some players got worse. Check out Miles Finnerty here. Isn't this the... So check it out. This is the dude that we drafted last season, right? 32nd pick. Okay. Check it out. Popped 18. Popped 9. Like all of a sudden, this dude's a fucking baller. Look at this. I picked him in the second round. He was the second pick. He was 20 years old. Okay, his overall was 29. It's 47 now. That's a fucking role player off the bench, bro. What did I tell you? Second round is where you get the real value. Look at look at look at the IQ pop. 23 12 defensive. He can shoot now, dude. 64, 68 mid-ranger, 60 free throws. That endurance is improving. Look, the jump has even got... Oh, man. Dude, this guy put... This guy was in the weight room, plus 15 in strength. Bwam. Second rounder. Second rounder. This guy's a starter now. Oh, is he? No, he's not. But maybe he should be. Give him a chance. Give him a chance to get on that all rookie, all rookie squad. He earned it. He earned it. I mean, we're gonna tank, and he's not gonna have a good time. But I think he earned that starter squad. So let's give it to him. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what he can do. We're winning too many games. We got to we got to Look at look at Prince Stribling here. Got to shut down Prince Stribling cuz he's he's fucking everything up. A good team rating for the playoffs, like if you like, like for sure, for sure, you want to be like top five in the playoffs, you got to be a 70 plus overall team, bro. But remember, it also depends on the state of the league. If all of the other teams are really weak, then maybe you only need a 65. Maybe you only need a 60. You know, it really depends on the state of the league. Uh, I wish we had a metric for that. I wish there was an easier way to see an overview of like, you know, team ratings for the league. There probably is if you go to like standings or maybe league power rankings. Yeah. So you can see like Chicago Whirlwinds in 95. 70, we're 63. You know, we're one of the best rated teams, but we're number... Oh, are we winning a lot of games? Because we should be way... We should be ranked way, way... Hold up. Okay, we won 15 games. Oh, man, Las Vegas is doing worse than us. Those fucking bastards. Dude, Chicago, Chicago, man, they're they're the shit right now. That's why we're that's we're, why we're trying to just get some picks, get some picks, lay low, let them run the league for now. That's fine. It's 
It's like, okay, okay, that's fine. Let's shoot. This is Chicago's time. We had our time, right? They built a really good team. They've got a solid squad, and there they go. There they go running it again. You know, you don't want to try to go up against that. Matthew Johnson retiring over here. Rip. Yeah, they couldn't quite pull it off, I guess. What did our rookie dude do? Did he get to the all rookie team? Did he did he make a splash? Did he He put up 11 points, 2 rebounds and 1 assist. Your 39 teams swept in the first round? Like they got swept or they swept somebody? Bro, if you're in the first round of the playoffs, if you're in the playoffs, you did not successfully tank. You got to try that again. Oh, they swept someone. Yeah, that's it. You just got to zero out all the dudes. That's it. It's the most successful play. We're just waiting for this thing to load up to see where we ended up. Matthew Johnson has retired. That was that was one of oh dude didn't even make the all rookie team. How sad. How sad are we right now? Um yeah man, Matthew Johnson. He's gone. Oh he oh he only played with us for the last four seasons. That's a shame we couldn't get him a championship. That's what I usually try to do, man. I try to find these good old players. Scoop them up. Get those chip chasers. Help them get some chips. Okay, so things aren't going well right now, but we have a chance for a top pick. So let's let's see where we land. Let's do the lottery. Let's see where this takes us. Uh, I do sign older players. Wow, we're picking sixth. That's a huge kick in the nuts. What a massive kick to the nads right there. Um, I do sign older players. Like, uh, like after you filled out your roster and you're in free agency, sometimes there's, there's older players that can help fill out the roster. And you got to get them in there. Oh, what a terrible draft. Oh, man, this is horrific. Oh, gosh, everything about this makes me sick. See, Micah here is kind of like a little good at everything, right? So if they pop an IQ, you know, you have to see where they actually, like, really improve. But there's a... Look at this dunk. This man can play inside. Madison Bynes might be the dude. Oh, I love Sonny Williams here, but he's 22. I mean, these a bunch of these really good players are kind of... You know, they don't have a lot of years to develop. They're great. Oh, man, look at Poppy Maputu here. Like, he just looks like he's going to get inside and wreck people. 63 height, 68 strength. He can dunk. But we want to go for the longer term. We're going to give Madison Bynes here a shot. You don't sign people above 25. It, I mean, it all depends on your team, yo. It all depends on, like, what you need. You know, if you if somebody's 26 and they can give you what you need, you know, you've got a couple of seasons of, of getting that. Like, look at this. Check this out. Second round, right? Bam. Rebounder. 68 rebound. Can he do everything else amazing? No. But if he pops in rebounding... Even more, like this dude could just grab 10 rebounds off the bench. Like, I'm going to take that. Give me that. Give me rebounds. Right? So you got to look. You got to get into the second layer there. We got a Luca on the team. And he wants $4 million, And I'm going to give him 
no million. Tanking is the easiest thing in the world, bro. Come on. Come on, you're making it harder on yourself. So, um, here we are. I think we're going to tank one more season. Because that's when all of these terrible contracts are going to expire. And hopefully, we can re-sign a bunch of players cheaper. Also, we want to actually win now. Because the goal is to have all of the OGs re-sign on reasonable contracts um while we also win which means that we should have a lot of cap space to sign some ball and ass players but we also got to see how the team develops very important to see how that goes so let's go to the preseason 61 rated team right now so we could probably make the playoffs. Playoffs? Brad, did you really just say tanking is harder than winning? Come on. Come on. Dust yourself off. What happened to homeboy? Oh, my man, Miles, dude. I thought Miles was going to explode. He can still shoot. He can shoot and defend. I mean, it's... It's still a great second round pick coming off the bench. Okay, so here's the gamble. We we need to actually play well enough to um to get some players in free agency. That's really it. We got to get some players in free agency. That is the goal. Oh. So this is very funny because now that I actually want us to try and win... We can't even win a single game. Like, this is an accidental tank right here. I, I didn't intend for us to tank this hard. But we are a 50-team rating, which is which is pretty horrific. It's, it's pretty bad. Despite, I mean, we got 170 overall. A bunch of players around 60. Which I didn't think was too horrible. But our bench is... Our bench is not very good. It's not a, not a very good bench. Very bad. Very, very bad bench. Here's what we're going to do as well. Uh, Prince Dribbling here. My man Prince Dribbling. I love the name. Prince Dribbling. Since, since we're basically tanking anyway, and it's not, it's not going exactly how I was hoping. Um, and I hate to do this because he was... He was the 30th pick. Remember, you said there's no good picks in the second round. 30th pick is basically the second round. And this dude is 70 overall. I got a 70 overall player with a 30th pick. I usually don't do this. But given how things have gone, we got this dude championship. We're going to evaluate his value on the market and I have to say this is an amazing deal here 68 69 Boston Massacre we get a bunch of their young talent I'm sorry Prince I'm sorry Prince what's up Emperor Oh, Emperor, I haven't even looked at the draft prospects for the next drafts. Uh, I I don't. I don't because I don't want to, like, get hype or not. Like, I just, I just do it. And if it sucks, 
it sucks. But we just added a bunch of depth to this team. Uh, I wasn't trying to tank at this at this point. So let's see if adding that talent does what we needed to do. Um, and the answer is no. We're still terrible. But I think that we will be... I think we'll be okay for the plan. I think the plan is still in place. Despite losing more games than I would like. So the plan is restructure a bunch of these contracts, these OG contracts. Like this guy's not going to make 11 mil. This guy's not going to make 21 mil. This guy is, if he asks for more than 11 mil, he's out of his fucking mind. Right? So Jonathan Johnson's not going to make 9 mil. So we're going to clear up a bunch of these really bad contracts. Right? Hey, what's up, dumb matter? In the house. We're doing a rebuild. We're doing we're doing a surgical rebuild. We're, we're kind of doing like an in-flight rebuild, basically. Wow, 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 wow. We made the playing tournament. Let's get through the end of the playing tournament where we did not do nothing. We did do nothing. Nothing. We did do nothing at all. We didn't do nothing at all. Oh, oh. Chicago's still winning, dude. Like this is this is fine. It's okay that we're bad right now because Chicago this is their time. You know? We had our time. It's Chicago's time. And then when Chicago's done, it will be our time again. Everything ebbs. Everything flows. Okay? Nothing dominates forever. How San Antonio doing these days? Do you know what I'm saying? La 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 If we get a skip here Oh fuck me Whatever I'm still gonna find a dope pick You know how I do You know how I do it Looking for the sleepers Look at Cleveland with the one percent first overall pick Theft. It's a terrible draft anyway. Oh, but we got some skill players. Look at this. Look at this. This is see, this is why you got to look at the stats. Cause cause you would be thinking, oh man, fucking Jordan Harvey here ranked number one. I should get Jordan Harvey because he's got the highest potential. Right? Wrong. Look at Connor Helton here. Bam! This dude can defend. He can dribble. He can pass, and he can shoot already. This dude's ready to go. So what? He's thirty-seven overall. Wait for those pops. Wait for those pops. We don't want the snap or the crackle. We just want the pops. I think he's the one. We're going with Connor. Wham. Look at Nacido. Nacido just sneaking up in here. First thing he says, criticism. First thing. Not even a hey chat. Hi, everybody. How how are you all doing? Just he's mid tank and he's not being fired. I want Sir Lame Game fired. Change the algorithm. Algorithm's not changing, bro. It's not changing. Okay. If Facebook, if Facebook had a bunch of whistleblowers blow the spot on their shop and they didn't change the algorithm, we ain't changing the algorithm. We still doing it. Nah, 
No, why? Guys, guys, let's stop, let's stop convincing Dumb Matter to break the game. Let's not do that. Those are not fun times. He is right like 80% of the time. That doesn't mean that I have to agree with him. Right and wrong is a matter of opinion if you're ignorant enough, okay? And I choose to be ignorant. But I have to decide here. So the OGs are still asking for a little bit of money, which is fair. Which is fair. I can't really argue with a little bit, right? Three mil? Okay. Four mil? All right. Y'all have been here since forever. You want your one and a half mil? Okay, bro. I still got 36 million. Does it go to Antonio Scott? Fuck. No. Does it go to Ivan Irwin? No. Does Miles Finnerty? Get, maybe I do. Maybe it does go to oh, 10 million. If I do 10 million, I can't get. Okay, but there's probably some other bad contracts I can clear out. So let's do that. Let's just let's give him a shot because he's he's stepping it up. Uh, we got another OG. We got to keep the OGs, yo. Got to keep the OGs. Look at look at Wagner. OGs. OGs. I'm trying to get these guys championships. Keep the OGs on the cheap contracts. I got 23 million free. So I think... I think there is opportunity. If we need to free up... Six million? I think we could do that. Let's see what's available here. Is this is this the time? Okay, we have a lot of refusals. But what if we sim a day? Okay. Uh basically all the good players are gone. But what if we sim one more day? All the other good players are gone. So this is not going exactly how I was hoping it would. I might even just save it and we tank one more season. I think we're going to tank one more season. Now that I got everybody locked in to contracts. I think I could do one more tank and that will really get us out of the success sphere of Chicago. And then we can look at upcoming free agents and be like, okay, there's a lot of ball and prospects coming up next season. Right? Like I wanna I wanna wait for that. And hopefully our team will improve and will win enough that they will want to sign. So I guess we can assure that by Signing a few of these players to one year contracts. Look at look at look at look at this dude with the 74 strength and 67 high. I like that. I want to see some bully ball inside. That's what I want to see. Let's fucking bring back bully ball. What do I got? Nine million? So I could probably sign like a like a, like a, like a Cyrus Ross here for one season. We just need to win. Oh, wait, what am I trying to do here? Am I trying to tank or I'm trying to, no, I guess I have to win. I have to win if I want to sign the free agents. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm getting my head together. I'm all discombobulated. Um, wham. Good stuff. Here we go.
let's see if we can make it to the playoffs. If we can make it to the playoffs. See, it don't matter. Enjoy your COVID booster. Um, I need to I need to go look into that shit as well. I already got one. Um, but it was the Johnson and Johnson. Which I hear now is like it's the least effective of all of them. So I went and I just I, I got the worst one because I'm lazy. Should have got the fucking Pfizer. Okay, Madison Bynes here. Wasn't this the... Oh, he was the sixth pick. Let's see where we go. Let's see how we do. We just need to get to the playoffs. If we get to the playoffs, then we'll be able to sign somebody super dope next season. And we can see that we do have some young talent developing. A lot of bad contracts as well, but we'll clear those. We'll clear a bunch of those are clearing out anyway at the end of next season. And we don't want to lose Josiah. I might resign him. I signed him to a one year, but let's see. Let's see what kind of bully ball he's playing. Oh, I see wins. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, we have some significant injuries. But we got a little bit of depth. Kyle Salisbury is leading the way. 18 points, doesn't really do much else. Two and a half rebounds, two assists. Like, come on, bro. Justin Montez has been on the team for 14 seasons, okay? He's putting up 12 and 10. This man is averaging a double-double at 34 years old. Like, who does he think he is? Chris Paul? What is going on here? But he ain't Superman. Oh, man. We got a good plan. And I think that we're on the way up, on the way up, yeah. We're on the way up. Binds ain't bad, yo. Binds, binds ain't bad. It was kind of a risk at the sixth pick as well. Boom, we're third. So do you think we're going to be able to sign some dope picks in free agency? You bet your fucking best dollar we are. What's up, Cincinnati? What's up, Cincinnati? Going to bounce us out? Nope. And here we go against our... And now, look, Detroit is the team. Is it Detroit's time? Is it really fucking Detroit's time? Ah, oh, fuck it is. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Are you fucking sick? So Chicago is number two now. Let's see if we can get past Chicago. If we can sneak by him. Nope. Not happening. One game. And Chicago goes on to win again. I, I mean, they've, they've got like seven wins in a row. They put together a super team. Good for them. Congratulations. They, they fucking, they did it. They fucking did it. And they still got an 80, 80 overall player. He's 31. So he can still go on for a few more a few more seasons. But look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
and it could continue. They might not be over. When you got an 80 overall player on your team. But let's check this out. Got to go through the draft first. Quick little draft aroni And y'all know how I do. Even if it's a late pick, even if we're picking 27, I find some value. Look at these, look at these little sleepers here. Look at this Barry Williams. This man can dish it. Look at Avery Barry here. Oh, this man can can go hard inside. Look at that defensive IQ already. This man is ready to go defensively. Avery Barry. I think that's our guy. That's our dude right there. There's some guy that had passing. Uh, where did he go? Oh, Barry Williams. Yeah, I would love Barry Williams, but man, this this could be a steal right here. Avery Barry. Remember that name. You remember the Barry, okay? Don't forget him. It's going to turn out to be the biggest flop of all time. So here we go. Josiah. Josiah. Only asking for seven million. He had a solid PER. I mean, he only put up 12 and 8, but... 14 PER. But I'm right on the cusp of, of getting a superstar, so I really got to focus on that. Um, Bryson Walker and Hakan. The OGs get to stay. The OGs get a pass. We're trying to get them chips. That's really what this is all about. Yeah, man, we 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 gotta we gotta save that for the stars. I'm trying to see stars. Which we have some. I think we got to go with a DeMonte. I, I don't know why Adam Ross is... I guess he could do a little bit of everything. But it's just, it's not enough to give him labels. And he's 24, so there's potential for a higher pop. He does everything, man. This dude scores, he rebounds. Oh, we got to go with Adam Ross. Adam Ross is the dude. You're in. You're in, Rossi. We need you to take us to better times. Take us to better times, bro. If we go by potential here. La la la. La la. But here's the thing is... The, the real question is, did we get enough young talent that's going to develop when we tanked? And we did not really, unfortunately, right? Like, this is a solid lineup, but you need a bunch of these younger players to pop. If they don't pop, we're in trouble. Let's see what happens with Avery Berry here. We're 60 overall team. Remember what I said, 70 overall plus. That's what you want to be to be a contender in the playoffs and we are 60 overall right now so we need a huge jump massive jump from the squad from 60 overall 58 was not the direction that we was hoping for hey but check out my man avery did he just earn himself a starting squad a spot he did my man avery barry is uh 
is a monster inside already. Okay. Okay. So kind of a shit team. Some young players that are continuing to develop. Take a look at Connor. Connor here is still improving. You got your team to 50. That's that's looking up, man. That's looking up. You got to look up, bro. All right, let's see where we go. Because I just, I feel like we have good specialists and we are going to outperform our, uh, our rating. That's the thing is like, if you have a good balance, if you have good synergy between the players, they will outperform their overall you just you got to have the right players in the right position right so we got kyle here and kyle can do damn near everything no wait where's the dude that we just oh adam ross adam ross got worse yo that hurts like that hurts. He's still doing nice things. He's putting up 14, 7, and 5. Kyle Salisbury scoring. He's leading the scoring. Right? So we got we got rebounders. We got distributors. Justin Montez is coming off the bench and and dishing out eight assists. I'm about to put this man back in the starting lineup. Like why? Can we please get eight assists to the starters? So you see, we're not amazing, but we're going to get 50 wins. True, true. Adam, Adam indeed is, is a potential contract flip. For sure. He's not bad. He's not worth the contract, but he's not bad. La, 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 la. Basketball. GM 50 wins we're in the playoffs tell me what the fuck you want I want a chip no dip just pops mad hops So we are the fifth seed. Chicago is back on top somehow. This is fucking 80 overall player on their squad. Can we beat the four, four? Oh, wow. We just beat them in seven. We did it in seven to go against Chicago. But hey, we beat the fourth seed, yo. Hustlers going to hustle. And that's what I need. I need hustlers on the team. Say you one game at a time. Okay, they stomped us out. That's fine. Okay, they stomped us out twice. What about in DC? Okay, they, they did it as well in DC. Okay, they continued to do it. And that's the end of that. Well, fuck. We need we need to see a big improvement from the team. Like there's still young players. Brian Walker retired. Sleeper pick achievement awarded. Hakan. Kaz, Brian Walker, a bunch of the OGs retired. Uh, but I got the sleeper pick. I got the sleeper pick, baby. Try to tell y'all. Try to tell y'all. Y'all don't know about this. Look at that. Avery Barry. 27th pick in the draft. Pop 17. Goes on to win Rookie of the Year. Puts up 14, 9, and 1 assist. Damn near averages a double-double his rookie season. Let's hope the future is bright. Let's hope this man becomes a superstar in the league. Oh, and did you all forget? We have two first-round picks coming up from... Boston and Boston in 68 and 69. How are they doing? It doesn't look like we got a pick from them. 
Boston's doing really well. And they're going to be doing well for a while. Fuck, those picks are worthless. Damn it. <sighs> okay, look, look. We we are we are going to turn these lemons into lemonade, okay? Like that's really what it's all about. We gotta look for that sugar. We gotta find that sugar. Check out Gregory here. You could do a little bit of everything. That's one option. Let's look around. Butch, cool name, not a great player. My man Lavelle Bell. He's twenty two. But he could rebound, he could play inside. Could be a good pickup. 22, though, it's a bit... It's a bit much. Take through... Take a stroll through some of these other stats here. I think Gregory. I think Gregory is the guy. I think Gregory is the dude. We're picking up Gregory. And we could still get Lavelle Bell. Oh, man, that's great. I love it. Theft. Theft, man. And look at Sherman Woodward here. He's got some height. Can already play inside. Blam. It's looking good. It's looking good, honestly. So here we go. Kyle Salisbury. Oh, we got to keep Kyle. But if we sign Kyle... Oh, right. We can flip the other... Yeah, of course we want Kyle. It's the other dude that potentially might get flipped. Uh, Madison Bynes here wants 15 mil. Now, here's the thing. Madison Bynes could blow up and become a baller. He's only 22. He's got 55 overall. Decent potential. And he's already putting okay numbers off the bench. I mean, 11-4 and 15 PER. Bro, I think we keep all these dudes. I think we keep all those dudes. I mean, we made it to the playoffs. That's something to remember, right? Don't forget that. So, like, what's out here? Okay. So, we have a fucking baller, James Matthews. Only 20 million. So, we need to clear up 40 million. So, we go to the trading block. We take a look at the contract situation. And we say, Adam Ross... That's 26 million. Matt Gibson, for some reason, is making 13 million. Ivan Irwin, for some reason, is making 10 million. All of these dudes are going to go, and we're going to get that other dude, and he's going to be awesome. Um, Matt Gibson, dude, he's, dude, this guy's, this guy's been a stud for the team. Absolute stud for the team. So can I can I keep him and trade Ivan Irwin, who's also um somebody that I drafted, but he's never he hasn't really done anything with us. Uh so I would rather trade him. So let's go ahead and move Ross first. And that way we get to keep the OG. And it looks like Ross is going to get us two first-round picks as well, on top of everything. I hope. 135%. So close. And then, oh my god, and then look at these other young players that we could flip and get more first-round picks. Oh, this is disgusting. We're, we're about to create a fucking dynasty here. Uh, monuments are over the salary cap, so we just need to give them somebody like, uh, like, uh, uh, like a 
Tyler, Richard. No, that's not enough. Y'all can have Lavelle Bell. No? Still not enough? What about a... I don't want to trade the OGs. Oh, maybe we give them Ivan. What if they just take Ivan right here, right now? Is that good? Yeah. Okay, so we just got two first round picks. But most importantly, we got a bunch of players here that I think we're going to flip into more first round picks. No? Is he not a first round pick player? He looks like a first round pick player to me. Y'all are fucking stingy as shit. Look at these stingy ass motherfuckers. Here we go. First round pick from 69 for Seattle. I'll take it. It's a straight up pick. I'm just trying to dump contract, really. I don't know if Seattle's doing good or not. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to dump contract. We get first round picks. Uh, you know, you take risks on players and they're young so they could blow up. I would rather take risks on, on players with small contracts uh, than these players that are going to be demanding big-ass contracts because they know they're ballers. They're ballers. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying they're, they're not going to allow us to accomplish our goals right meow. That's all I'm saying. Houston. Uh, let's press the button one more time. Let's just press the button one more time. Let's see what kind of what kind of things we can get from the button. The magical button. What if we do this? What if we add somebody else into the mix here? Mm hmm. We're gonna see if we can get someone else in here. Is it Miles Finnerty? It's not. Who who was the other guy? There was there was another guy. Is it Miles? I don't think it's Miles. Fuck it, we're trading Miles. Get a first get a first round pick for Miles. Get two first round picks for Miles. That'd be great. It'd be fantastic. Get a few first round picks for Miles. Hey, what up, Lizzie? Lizzie, we've arrived to Tankola Town. Population, the entire Monuments team. I think we're going to go with this and then trade. Um, cause Jonathan Borghetti here could be dope. Jonathan Borghetti. Watch, watch the name Jonathan Borghetti, right? We're going to trade away Andrew Lawrence. We're going to get that first round pick, but Borghetti sounds a lot like Bugatti. So I'm just hoping that we get the same sort of performance, um, based on the loose affiliation to the car brand. Then we trade out Andrew. What a for it. What am I doing up so late? Oh, you know, I'm just, I just, I just do whatever, whenever, you know, I'm like Shakira. What's that Shakira song? Whatever, wherever, something, something, we can be together. I'll be there and you'll be here. You'll be there and I'll be here streaming for the rest of the year. So it was a song like that. Boom. That was another first round pick. I don't know if y'all see this. Okay. But we're a team on the up. All right. We got five first round picks next season and then we got a bunch of first round picks sprinkled in throughout the the years and those can turn into secret surprise um 
surprises. So, right, the question now is, if we go into free agency, do we have the monies? We only have 14 mil, so we need to free up six, seven more million. We need seven more million monies, okay? And here's what we're going to do to get it. Fuck, I don't want to trade the OG, dude. I don't want to trade Matt Gibson. I don't want to do it. He's so close to changing his contract for us. I don't want to do it. But we have to. Fuck. I'm so sorry, Matt. I'm so sorry, bro. But that contract is just... It's very unfortunate for everybody involved here. Look, I have a bunch of people that are just like, we'll just take him. We will just take him off your hands. Can we leave him in a good situation? I don't want to leave him with a rebuilding. Ah, oh, fuck, they're all rebuilding. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so fucking sorry. I feel terrible. Oh, this is so bad. The bankers will be good, though. The bankers, the bankers will... They'll figure it out. I feel terrible. Uh, who was there for 14 mil? Nobody that I want. I'm out here for... Uh, matter of fact, we could afford Jared now, and Jared is only 22, whereas James is 27. I feel like it's worth gambling on Jared here and see if he becomes a monster. He's already putting up 14 and 6. Do I gamble? Do I do I gamble everything for a for the potential? Why am I feeling bad for a fake basketball GM player? Because it makes it more fun. That's it. I think I think if 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 you're just playing um like straight up like if you're just playing straight up it's just it's easy to just trade like this player is getting old just throw him away and uh and and fucking you know get some value for them before they start aging and then recycle it's just like it's really easy to win like that do you know what i'm saying like it's not hard at all to win a basketball gm if you're if if you're just making all of the the logically like best moves in the moment right but then when you mix in some of this like this shit that you would have to deal with in real life right like would pop just be like oh man tony tony duncan like y'all y'all are 33 we don't think your stats are gonna pop next season y'all got big contracts we're just gonna ship you out right now so that we can get a bunch of first round picks and that, like, that would never happen, right? So we got exactly Emperor Teapot. We honor in the OGs just because it adds another level of um, depth and challenge to the game. You know, there's a bunch of these. There's a bunch of these players in in the Hall of Fame of my team that like. The only reason that they climbed up so high in the team Hall of Fame rankings is because I figured out ways to like extend their career or to put talent around them so that they could continue to be successful. Right. And I'm looking at this like I'm looking at like, OK, Matt Gibson, like look at Matt Gibson, bro. Like, look at how close Matt Gibson was 
to to getting into like the top 25 i don't even know where he is right now what is that like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This man is literally 25. Okay. He's he's in the top 25. Could he have pushed it a, a bit more? Maybe he could have. I'm going to retire this man's jersey right now. I don't even care. Retired. It's top 25. I don't know if that was a good idea. I should probably check his stats first. I just wanted to make a point. What's the rankings? It's it's based on EWA. Yeah, hell yeah, this man's fucking jersey is getting retired. Look at that. Finals MVP, seven-time champion, two-time defensive player of the year, six-time all-defensive, all-league. He's an all-star MVP, two-time rebounding leader, six-time, hell yeah. We honoring the OGs, man. It's t it's it's easy. It's easy to win a basketball GM if you just make all of like the number based moves. Add the people element in there. That shit makes it really difficult. And then I think that makes it more fun. So where are we at now? risks huge huge risks everywhere all kinds of risks we got some young players we got some ogs justin montez was still doing dope things at 35 is this the end of it for him does he pop does he you know like what happens let's see let's see what happens here Onto the preseason with this 49 overall team. La, 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 la. 49 overall. It's such a fucking really bad team. And we got even worse. I am gonna cry. Cause this is really, 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 really bad. I'm gonna cry. Who's the dude that I just, Mr. Fucking Durden Jr. here was supposed to blow up. Oh man, this is all fucked. This is, this is all completely fucked. We're gonna do it though. We're doing it. We're gonna let them. We're gonna let them play this shit out. Oh, and then we're playing New York City. Matt, we're going up against Matt immediately. Do we beat him? No. And then they beat us. Oh man, the karma. The karma. We're getting our asses handed to us. Brah. Pop, I use pop and drop just because they're they're fun to say. So yeah, pop is improvement, as Mr. P Teapot said. And uh drop is, is when they drop. Now remember, we have five first round draft picks in this draft. Boston, Portland, Portland, San Diego, and Seattle. So let's take a look at the standings. Boston, Portland, San Diego, and Seattle. Are any of those in the bottom? Okay, Seattle is not doing well. Portland is not doing well. So we potentially have two top five picks. Portland is doing terrible. Oh, man. We potentially have two top five picks. Could that be it? 
could that be what propels our team to greatness? Damn, your whole team declined. Shit. That's rough, bro. That is a rough aroni. La 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 la. Um, we are tanking as well, apparently. Not not a plan tanking but it happens let's go through the playing tournament here uh well we made it as the eighth seed oh we got to go against chicago i'm so fucking tired of chicago dude just simulate to the end of the round i don't give a shit fucking assholes whatever let's get these picks let's get these draft picks in let's see if the young players on the team have a better year and develop Maxim here. Chikakin has retired. The OGs are starting to just leave, man. I tried. I really tried. I really tried to build a competitive team to help them go out feeling good. Feeling great. Oof, look at that. Look at that snake line right there. At least we're not getting fired. Draft lottery. Look at that. Two top five pick opportunities. Watch, watch, watch me get fucked over like I have in the past few drafts. It's been bad. Like the my draw oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh picking fifth and fourth. Out of fucking control, dude. Out of control. Just Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. And it's a shit draft. It's it's the worst draft that I have seen. And I have so many picks in one of the worst drafts ever. This is horrific. Really. This is just... I, I can't say enough about how terrible this is. They're bad. They're all bad. They're not good players. These are not basketball players. Oh. Okay. Sneaky sleeper here. Shun Shik. Oh, dude. I'm about to fill my team full of terrible players, and it hurts. Oh, God. Ah, oh, fuck. F U C K M E. What does that spell? Fuck me. I'm fucked and not in a good way. Oh, check out Tim Jones here. Mister does a little bit of everything. Okay, I might I might find some sleepers in here. Don't 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 forget. Don't forget the number one rule. Don't sleep on the sleepers. Your job is to tuck them in, not to fall asleep. I guess we bring back Connor, the OGs. Oh, 
<laughs> 20 rebounds. Yeah, that's that's what you have to do sometimes, man. Sometimes you just got to look for those players that have the the standout stats. And they can come in off the bench and they can be effective. Oh gosh, I'm so tempted to make a move for Gregor here. 17, 10, and 6. I just need to clear up like 33 mil. Bro, it makes me sick that I'm paying this dude this much. Why is Shun Shik making 5.2 million? Oh, he's from DC. And we've got him on the monuments. Oh, that makes me want to keep him. And he went to Duke as well. That would have been cool if he went to Georgetown. But he's making five million. Uh, I I use the history depending on what I'm trying to look at. We're gonna we're gonna flip Jared for now, just just to get that out of the way. Just because that that needs to happen. And we're going to get a first round pick out of it. And maybe some more trade bait. Uh, John... Myron Woods, I also, I want to see how these dudes develop, but at the same time, uh, fucking Borghetti here, he was improving, dude, I have a lot of players that could, like, potentially get better, so I'm very hesitant to trade all of them away, but John Wright definitely got to go. Are we stacking up on picks again? There's a first round pick. That's so far off. Probably have to pick up a bad contract. We got a lot of young players on the team, and I want to see how they develop, but then, you know, I lose out on... On getting a great player in free agency. Shit is tough. Tough, tough, tough. These are all shit trades. I would love just like a straight up contract dump. But it doesn't seem like anybody really wants to do that. Maybe I go for the first round pick. I just do it. Just wiggle it. Let's get the first round pick. Let's try to wiggle for it. It's only 400% off, so we just got to pick up a bad contract for them, like a, like a, uh, like maybe a Jarrett, Jared here. Close. Close. What about Montre? It's a terrible contract. Oh, man, close. Close, but I guess he's too good. Uh... Yeah, a bunch of these players are good, so they're not going to make that easy for me. But this should be fucking a fair fair trade. Like, I'm not trying to keep him either. Nah, fuck it. Let's just go back and, and try to dump this shit. Maybe mix it in with somebody else, right? Like, we put, we put um, John Wright and then maybe some bait in there. Like, uh... I mean, we can't keep everybody anyway. A bunch of these younger players are going to have to go. Uh, so, like, Lavelle. 
Richie Rowe. What if we mix that all in together and see if we can get like a nice contract dump? No? Still not good? Still no bueno? Okay, maybe maybe we just switch it up for... Matter of fact, what am I doing? Why don't I just fucking... It's John Wright, right? So I just go to finances. I go to Seattle Symphony. And I just say, hey. Hey, guys, check it out. John Wright is now your problem. Congratulations. Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. So if I check out in free agency, I've got 15 million. How much do I want? Thirteen million. There's no way I'm gonna get thirteen million out of this. Ah, uh, fuck. I I would rather keep all of these young players in the hopes that one of them becomes a fucking baller than make another individual trade for somebody. That doesn't turn out. Don't matter. We're 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 it's we're working on it. It's we're processing. We're still we're still in the process. Um, we're still processulating. I mean, I could flip. Do I flip Kyle? I guess so. I mean, he's the oldest one on the team at this point, right? Like, he's not going to get any better. 26 mil opens up a lot of opportunity. At the very least, it gets him off of... Yeah, we're going to do that. Good call. Good call, my dude. I didn't want to do that, but it's really the right move. I mean, it's not like I drafted... Kyle, right? Like he came in from a trade, so it doesn't doesn't really break my rule of try to keep the solid draftees. We got a bunch of draft picks coming up. Um oh, and then maybe Jimmy Cross here develops into a bowler. Or maybe John Whaley and these two first round picks. Or we spin the wheel again. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's the way to go. I don't want to go to trade with Chicago. Fuck Chicago. Fucking what's so great about Chicago? I got to pick up a bad contract here. Like Chris Stevens. Oh, even more. Even more. Y'all know damn well this is a terrible contract. Close. Oof. Okay, that was bad. How do we clear everything? Clear everything. Clear. Clear everything. Just start over. Start the fuck over, guys. Two first round picks. But we gotta make this money work. So what if I... Wrap up a bunch of these contracts down here. Still not enough. Still not enough.
close. Bro, they are... They're getting ridiculous. Nah, nobody's getting Avery Berry. Come on now. Let's not be stupid. Come on, try try again. Las Vegas. Try again. For real. Let's be serious here. Uh like come on guys. I'm like I'm willing to take a bad cut. Like this is a bad contract. And then Alex were just it's not gonna work out. It's not gonna work out. Oh man, we just need to move this fucking dude. If we move this fucking dude Average age of the team goes down significantly. And dope shit will happen. I might even just dump him for a much simpler contract as well. Oh, 249. Two first round picks. We just need one bad contract. Or maybe two. Oh, this is a terrible contract. Horrible contract. Come on, man. How does this sound? What do they want? What do they want? Ooh, they want Gregory. Nah, bro. Nah, he's somebody that I want to see develop. I have not tried ha hockey or football GM because um, it's it's I'm just not I'm not you know do you know what I'm saying like some people are but I'm not so I have not tried them but I'm sure they're great I think we're gonna do this we're gonna flag homeboy though we're gonna f flag shun here because he could turn out to be the best player of all time. Um, close, bro. What the fuck, man? Like, what do you, what do you want? What do you want? Do you want a first round pick? Have a first round pick. Do you want? Do you want two first round picks? Just take two first round picks. I don't care. Just fucking like I'm trying to move forward. We're gonna be great. That's why I'm giving them those first round picks. FYI, if you were concerned, if you were like, well, my God, two first round picks, you got robbed, bro. Those picks are going to be trash. Oh, for sure. Yeah, it depends if you like, if you like the spurt. Absolutely. Look at these pick up. Look at Bo Lawler. Bo Lawler. Man, Bo Lawler is going to do dope shit. I believe in Bo. So let's go back to free agency. That's what all of this was about, right? And now we have 29. Boom. Boom. We got Gregor. We got him. Wham. Done. All within the salary cap. All within the salary cap. It's only a 46 rated team. Extremely young team. Well, kind of a mix, actually. There's a lot of potential. A lot of potential with this team. Let's see if the, that potential is realized. 46 overall team right now. Nine players have to go. What happens here? What happens here with a 46 overall team? 61. 46 to 60. One. Bo Law. What did I tell y'all about Bo? What did I tell y'all about Bo? Look at Mr. Borghetti here, okay? He's trying to become the Bugatti. Gregory. I didn't want to give up on Gregory. Didn't want to do it. Look at Tim Jones. Tim Jones is like, what's up, bro? Was good. Remember you drafted me with the 25th pick in the draft? Yeah, now my potential is 70. And I'm a 56 overall starter. 
Gregor here, he's he got a little bit better. Look at Avery Barry. He's like, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay, I'm I'm working my way up. So we got a lot of contracts here that need to go towards the bottom, unfortunately. This is what I like to do as well. Sometimes you can find some value doing this. Just organize them by um, potential. Right? We don't want to get rid of the OGs, but Tate Strong, Ruben, Carrion, Montrez Mills, one of the OGs, Richie, Stephen Crittenton, Lavelle Bell, Nathan Dennis. Right, you just trade away Kadeem there with the terrible contract. Like, boom, we trade all of that and we get basically uh, a solid bench player. Trade all that, get a solid bench player, take a look at the team. Okay, two roster spots still there. There was a couple of players that we couldn't trade. Resort, Shamar Woodward. Then you just start releasing a few of these. Uh, Myron Woods, um, four and a half million. Can I trade him? Where's Myron Woods? That's because it's just a huge contract. I would like to just give it away. Oh. Oh, we can get this player. Gabe and Young. Gabe Young. Right? And that's going to bump us up even more. 64 overall. Uh, And then Connor Helton here can go. Bam. Okay. So Chicago, what's, what's up Chicago, was good. I think we're ready to rock and roll. We got a team, average age is 25, but there's still a lot of room to grow. Let's see if they can outperform their team rating. We're trying to synergize here. We need to synergate, okay? We got some game winners happening. We're getting some wins, getting some losses. Gregor here. Messing around and grabbing a few triple doubles. Let's check out what the what the team's doing. Gregor here with the eight. 19 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists. Leading the team in dopeness. We don't really have any other distributors on the team, though, which is a bit concerning. Uh, Tim Jones could develop into that person. He is certainly on the way. Not there yet, though. Avery Berry, solid defender. We love to see it. We hope it continues. Bo Lawler off the bench. 6.6 .6 rebounds. 20 PER off the bench. Off the bench. 16 minutes. 16 minutes. 20 PER. I mean, this is... Who does he think he is? Montrez Harrell? Like, what is... That's a 50-win team right here. At least... La, 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 la. Dude, don't get fired. You don't want to get fired. It's not fun. It's not fun. Trying to get back to the, your team is, like, terrible. It's horrible. I've done it twice. I've done it twice. So it looks like... We're going to get a few wins in here. Now Baltimore is the... Oh, man. 
our Beltway rivals. And look at us playing playing Chicago in the first round. Let's see what happens here. They got to play us on our court. And they just swept us in the first round. Are you fucking serious? Dude, they still have that dude, Adrian Cross. Ah. I mean, he's putting up 36 and 3. Like, what am I supposed to do? Don't worry. Next season is ours. Watch. And Gregor was injured. Didn't even see that. Gregor was injured. So this is, you know. Hey, hey, hey. Check it out. Trust the process. And sleeper pick. Okay? What did I tell you? We're on the up. Okay? We are on the up, baby. What is trust the process? What is trust the process? Trust the process. Have three plus players on the all-rookie team. Okay? And we got sleeper picks. So one of them won rookie of the year. So check this shit out. We're on the up. Tim Jones. 12 points. Six assists. Three rookies. Bro, we're about this is about to change very quickly. Do we get a lottery pick? No. But that's okay. We don't need it. Would have been nice. Would have been fine. Would have been a bit silly. But we don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. And look at Ryan Wicks here. Oh, man, we just getting lucky. We, we needed somebody that could distribute. We got somebody that could distribute. Pavel here is also going to do some dope stuff. I've never seen somebody excel at free throw so hard as a rookie. We're going to we're going to reward him just for working on his free throws. You hear that kids? Make your free throws. Okay, so here, check it out. Avery Berry wants 12 mil. That's a steal if he if he continues to improve. He's only 23. Absolute steal. Bo Lawler. Absolute steal. Gabe Young. Yeah, why not? Fuck it. Let's see what happens. Onward to free agency. Okay, we got our team. We don't need to worry about free agency anymore. 64 overall team. Average age, 23.8. This is where we need to see an explosion of talent. Where do we go from 64 over all? As you can see in our last playoff run and towards the end of the season, didn't go very well. But can we push this past 70? 71. Now things are changing. Look at Gregory. Look at Gregory. Popping 11, popping 9 in potential. David Hernandez popping six. Tim Jones popping four. Madison Bynes popping four. Avery Berry continuing to grow. Ryan Wicks. What did I tell you all about Ryan Wicks? He was the 22nd pick. All right. 22nd pick. You think you're not going to find any value there. This dude's overall is now 50 popped 14 and his potential popped 8 68 overall and he can dish it this dude can dish the fucking ball but we're stacked we don't have here's the problem though we don't have an overwhelmingly good player we don't have a superstar we have a very well balanced team at the moment we got to get rid of a few people here. Uh, we try to keep the OGs. Try to keep the OGs. Montes. John, oh. Try to keep the OGs. 
Um, shit, I think some of them have to go. No, nah, Pavel can go. You're out of here, Pavel. How many more do we need? One more. One more. One more spot. Uh, Joe Barlow can probably... 71. Yeah, it's an expiring contract, so he can go. Okay. 71 overall team. Where does that take us? I mean, this is it. Like these 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 OGs, they're they're fucking their contracts end this season. We got three players that have been here since forever. Can we get them one more championship? on their way out the door. That's what I love doing. I love seeing these dudes sign these long ass contracts and you get them one more championship and then they just retire and you're just like they were waiting for that. They were they were just waiting to get that one last chip. They saw the potential. They were tired of the grinds, the traveling, the hotels, all of the bullshit. But they're just like, all right, this team's going somewhere. We're going to go through the grinds. They ain't even playing heavy minutes. This man is minus 12 PR. Don't get a lot rougher than that. But the team is doing good. We got 40 wins already. Nine losses. Could this be it? Could this be the year? Is depth the key to success? Look at Tim Jones. He's stepping it up. He's putting up 12, almost eight assists at this point, which is what we needed. We needed distributors. And you can see that we're very close to double-digit scoring deep into the bench. Devin Fields here putting up seven Getting about eight from Gabe Young, seven from Bo Lawler, Gregory's putting nine point four. So not exactly double digits, but I'm sure a few of these nights these guys are trading back and forth, getting into dub double digits. Sixty two wins. That's gonna give us the second seed. And we're going up against a decent Crabs team. I don't think they're amazing. They're not amazing. But they're decent. They have some good guards. Let's see how far those guards take them. Simulating until the end of the rounds. And this is our first time into the second round of the playoffs for some time. About time. Now we're going up against number three, Pittsburgh. And we're going to sweep them. Now we're going up against... Baltimore, the battle of the beltway here. Can we steal some wins from Baltimore? Not the first one, but it wasn't that that far off. Okay, they stomped us in the second one. But it's pretty close now that they're coming back to DC. And we are going to take the first game in DC. Can we tie it up no no close games but now we're going back to baltimore it's very tough to win there and that's going to be the end of our season we got beaten by shellfish what the fuck man <sighs> young team young developing team that's just what i i need to remember you know, we're we're not going for one championship and then one and done. And we are trying to develop a young 
dynamic team that will help us win some championships before I end this fucking stream. God damn it. Okay? I'm not going to end the stream unless we win a championship. Or I decide to change my mind. One of those two things, okay? It's either or. All right, we're going to do it, man. We're going to do it. Let's go to our next pick. La 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 la. Oh, let's let's pick up the fast power for it. Nah, let's. Maybe we pick somebody that's a bit more m mature overall. Because we're, you know, we're trying to win now, right? So I, I'd, I'd rather, like, try to find somebody who's overall pops, get them into at least role player shape. All right. Of course, Gregory is going to stay. Um, yeah, the, the fucking my man Bugatti. It's got to stay. Uh, Fields, I mean, it's two million. Fuck it. Uh, and then we have the OGs, man. The OGs want to stick around. Oh, God. We're going to sign them. Actually, Montrez Mills, Montez Mills is not OG. He came in a trade. Where did he come from? This man, I don't know this man. I don't know this man. But this guy, Montez was second round, second overall pick. And Jonathan Johnson was also picked. So, uh, you know, somebody's going to have to go. I don't know who. But that's why we're going to go to preseason. And we're going to see if this team can be the t become the team that I think it can. And right now that there's 71 overall. This is the time to do it. This is the time to bounce, yo. 24 average age, 71 overall team. Where do we go? Do we hit 85? Maybe. I will take 84. I was I was joking with the 85 thing, but I will take 84. Okay, we're getting... Oh my gosh, we've got some superstars brewing. Remember Mr. 27th pick? Avery Berry? This man is a fucking stud. Volume shooter, rebounder, post score, defensive interior. Look at Ryan Wicks. Look at look at Mr. 22nd pick, Ryan Wicks, 59 overall. Potential popped as well. This dude can pass the ball. Even better than Tim Jones. This dude is gonna come off the bench and fucking dish it. We got four players off the bench. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 Anthony, you gotta go. Because we need to get this started. Because I think this is... If we win a championship, this is the last... The last season... Of the stream. We're just... We're going to end it on a good note. And then... Instead of me constantly ending these streams... With my teams going on the downturn... And then having to immediately fix everything... We end it on the upswing. And this is looking like it's going to be a major upswing. Because we got some absolute bowlers on the team. 
Look at these. Look at these three. I got a big three, dude. I got a big three. Top 25 players. And they are 25, 23, and 23. They're just getting started. They are just getting started. Look at this man right here. Putting up 20 and 12. 28 PER. Avery Barry. He's the 27th pick, dude. Look, look at look at my big three. Look at my big three right now. 27th pick. 25th pick. 23rd pick. Right? Look at look at Mr. Mr. Killing It off the bench. Ryan Wicks. This dude's gonna be a baller. 22nd pick. You build through the draft, bro. You build dynasties in the draft. We're about to be Chip Torius. Chip, Chip, Chip Torius. People making game winners. We're winning overtime games. We lost to Tampa for some reason. But we are cruising now. I'm surprised if we don't see green. Average margin of victory is 14. If we take a look at the league leaders. <clears throat> Mr. Barry is top two in rebounding. We've got three top ten three-point shooters. Yeah. Mr. Jones here. Offensive box plus minus. He's doing it. He's doing it, man. I clicked the wrong one somehow. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I did that. 67 wins. Number one seed. I hope y'all players are ready. Because this is what we've been, we've been waiting for. This is what all the hubbug was about. Oh, don't bounce us out of the... Fr okay. Okay. Cincinnati. What's up? That's what I thought. Baltimore. We meet again. Oh, they're going to beat us by a lot on our home court. They swept their first two series. This is not a very good sign. But we're going to win ours. Can we steal one from them? We got to steal one. No. Can we? Okay. Can we try again? No. Can we at least like get ourselves back in this? Okay. Can we fucking steal one? Please. Wow. Wow. <sighs> And then they're going to go on to win the fucking... Are you out of your goddamn gourd? Wow. Um, I'm sure we were the better team. I'm sure. We absolutely were the better team. Uh, we almost had a defensive player of the year on the team. Like, we almost had a championship. But Caleb Jenkins just decided to go fucking nuts in the finals. 22, 8, and 8. Dude, this is it. This is, we're, we're going to fucking, look at that. We got a, we got a, we got a lottery pick from Atlanta, okay? We're going to get a generational 
amazing player. It's going to skip. It's going to skip this. It's going to skip it. Ah, fuck me. Look. Look. Look at Latte Anarchist in here. Shouting props out to the enemy. How dare you? Okay. You fulfill your name, Mr. Anarchist. That has a latte. Causing chaos. In the chat. Watch. Watch how much the team develops. Let's get a draft pick. Stone pass gear. I love it. I don't think it doesn't even matter because we're going to have we're, we're just going to draft these players. Half of them are going to have to go. Uh, but here's the important part. This team is going to become a super team. There's just there's too much talent on the team for it to not happen. Tim Jones, you want you want the bank? You got the bank. Everybody's getting paid. Everybody. OK, because we're going to be amazing. All right. The OGs want to come back. OGs can come back. You know why? Because they know we're going to be amazing. So let's do it. Let's get right to it. No fucking around. 84 overall team. Where do we go from here? Average age of 24, which means they all still have significant pops available. Where do we go from 84? 93. Read them and weep. And now we got some bowlers. Look at Nemancha. Doing a little bit of everything. Uh, man, we got players coming up. Coming up. How many got to go? Five? Okay, so we sort it by potential. And uh, we got to keep the OGs, but Gabe, Mr. Walker... Bo, Bo, man, you were so great for just a little bit there. Tom, man, the Bugatti's got to go. I'm so sorry, dude. And then Devin Fields. And then I think that's probably good. If we could just get a contract dump. It'd be spectacular. Two first round picks? Really? I mean, nah, because I'm going to have to take on a huge contract. Let's just do this. Let's just go to um, finances, find out who has cap space, and we just drop them off there. Uh, potential. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's it. Took him. Take him and bake him. All right. 93 overall team. This is going to be it. I can finally go to bed after this. We beat Chicago, which is always a good time. Dude, it's over. This is done. This is it. I get to go to bed after this, finally. We're going to win the championship. Tim Jones is... Doing his thing. Ryan Wicks. Off the bench. Putting up nine and seven. Avery Berry. 
putting up 17 and 11. I mean, we got bowlers all over the place. The team is still young. Look at look at Ryan Wicks. He's 22. Still big pops in his few. Look at all these 22-year-olds. 22, 22, 22. Nice starter potentials. Look at how many 60 overalls we have coming off the bench. One, two, three. Finally going to bed, yo. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Win that championship. Sign out. Say goodnight to y'all. It's going to be amazing. It's going to happen for sure. 100%. 93 overall team. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. Bro, your team is 43 overall. Come on, you got to step it up, dude. What are you doing? Build through the draft, yo. Come on, check it out. Look at look at my big fucking 4. Look at my big 5. Okay, this one was a free agent signing. That's okay. You got to fill in here and there. Everybody else's draft picks. Are we going to win 70 games? Bro, we got 70 wins. We did it. We did it. Now we just got to finish it. Is job done? Job's not done. But we got it. We're good. Boom. Atlanta. Take a seat. New York. What's up? <gasps> no. One point. One point. Two points. One point. Two points. They are a 65 rated team, bro. Are you fucking serious? Dude. Uh... <sighs> <sighs> Did I mention super young team? Super young team, okay? Tremendous potential. Tremendous potential from this team. As I was saying, last year was really a ramp up year. It was a year that we were going to prepare. We were going to make sure everybody develops the way that they need to develop so that we could be successful this season, this upcoming season, right? And I was saying it the whole time, and y'all were listening. So get prepared, get hyped, because we are about to take over, okay? We have been working our way up to this point, and we, we, we finally are at a place... where the ballers are really going to ball and the OGs want to come back. So this is it. This is it. This is the... This man, this man spent lame bucks so that he could highlight no sleep in the chat. Like I'm I'm over here hallucinating from insomnia and people are highlighting jokes in the chat. Don't you realize how serious this is right now? I have decided that I cannot sleep until I win a championship.
okay? I'm seeing things. There are apparitions floating around. This is not good for my health. But we are a 93 overall team that has just become an 89 overall team. That is bad. That is that is the wrong direction. Okay, you remember that band One Direction? We are going One Direction. The wrong direction. But it's fine. It's fine. We're we're going to win. We've been preparing our whole lives for this season. This season, this one, right here, right now. Because it's bedtime. This is it. Okay, this is the good night season. So let us... Let us, um, why are we losing so much? I'm, I'm, I'm a bit concerned. I'm slightly concerned. That, uh... That we're going to absolutely destroy all of them. Really. I'm very concerned that they are fucked. The league is fucked. It's a, a like, look at this. Look at this. If we take a look at the power rankings, okay? Phoenix Vultures somehow come close. I don't understand how Baltimore has more wins than us. We're the number one rated team. We were the number one rated team. Slight injury setting us back. He will get better. Everything will be okay. Boom. He's back. We're the best. We are the best. I don't understand why Baltimore has more wins. It doesn't make any sense. Game is broken. Don't matter. Fix your game, please. What is what is going on here? Still winning though. Maybe not 70 wins, but probably first overall seed. Yep, first overall seed. We'll take it. Tim Jones is injured, but that should be okay starting off the playoffs. Okay, Miami. Quick waltz through Miami. Done. Okay, Boston. Should be an easy walk through Boston. Nice and easy. Baltimore. Once again. Decent team. They're going to be monsters in the next couple of years. So if we need to win, it's now. We're probably not going to beat them in the next couple of seasons. First game. We're slated to win. And somehow they fucking destroyed us. They did it twice. They did it three times. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck this game. I fucking hate this game. This is this is unacceptable. Okay. Um uh, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't have anything good to say. 
Uh, oh, Dumb Matter. <laughs> I didn't know Dumb Matter was still watching. He said, my bad. <laughs> uh, game's broken. Game's clearly broken. Clearly, there's something's broken. Dumb Matter just admitted to it. Uh, he's going to be working on a patch to improve it. So I would keep playing. I know I said I'm going to keep playing until I win, but there's clearly Dumb Matter just admitted that something's broken uh, in the game. Not my fault. Uh, we're totally the best team ever. We're going to give Dumb Matter a chance to um, fix the, the obvious glitch here. Uh, so I would continue. You know, you know, I'm I'm a person of my word, but there are some technical difficulties. There's some glitches. There's some things we need to resolve here, and then we will continue the no sleep stream. Um, but we're gonna have to we're gonna we're gonna work out the we're gonna work out the technicals here for a little bit. Anywho, um. Everyone, Lizzie, Furret, Dumb Matter, Chess Player, if Latte Anarchist is still here, Emperor Teapot, Breeze, probably left a long time ago, probably had some school stuff, Nacido might be lurking. Let me scroll through. Who else is here? Donnie Watch. Can't forget Donnie Watch. <sighs> Thanks for jamming. Thanks for jamming, y'all. Next time. It's just one of those streams. One of those fucking streams. Nacido is lurking. Nacido is lurking in the background. Um... Nacito's gonna work on it as well. They're 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 gonna fix it. I'm gonna share this. It's, it's, I shouldn't share this, but I'm gonna share this. Nacito B says, "Look at my big three. Is probably what you say when you get in the bedroom. Hardy har har har. Imagine dragging someone because your team loses. And dumb matter." Is that someone? So he's just... We couldn't... I mean, we couldn't finish the stream without, you know, Nacido, um, You know, fucking uh, throwing shattered glass on my back and stomping it in and then trying to wipe it off with a metal rake. Uh, so thank you, Nacido, for trying to help. Uh, yeah. I'll catch you all later. More like big four though, really. Like if we're if we're gonna if we're gonna be honest, more like big four. <laughs>